Hey everyone, it's Coach Nelson Gord here, Director of Baseball at the NCSA, and today we're going to talk about what college coaches look for in a Division I right-handed pitcher. Now the reason I say right-hand pitcher is because there are going to be differences between uh, some of the, the requirements that they ask of a righty and of a lefty. Uh, lefties are at a premium because there's far fewer of them um, available, so they might be able to get away with a tick less on the velocity side. Um, but when it comes to a right-hand pitcher, oftentimes one of the first things that college coaches are going to look for is pure velocity and arm strength. Uh, the second thing is going to be their ability to control the baseball in the zone, right? Fastball control, and that means working inside-outside consistently for strikes. Uh, beyond that, they're going to look for secondary stuff. A Division One pitcher should have control of at least three pitches. And command, even though I don't use that word often, they should be able to command at least their fastball consistently um, in the zone to be a Division One contributor. So as we look at this video here, mechanics footage, really easy delivery. Let's see, controlled and efficient movements. He leads with that front hip. Um, not, a, not a lot of wasted movement. Arm swings through in time. Some game at bats here. And after one pitch, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. Guys, that, that's the difference right there between you know a high level division one pitcher, a mid-major, and kind of everybody else. Um, you could see in one pitch that that ball had that extra life. It jumped on you. Um, it was a riding fastball that disappeared from the hitter. Um, I don't see the radar gun here, but I can tell you that that is, you know, in the mid to upper 90s just because you can see how quick it comes out of the hand and gets on the hitter. Again, we see the same controlled, efficient movements that we saw. That ball was painted on the outside corner. Nice, easy, and fluid. Strike, strike, strike. That's the, the control and command that we were referring to. Another riding fastball at the top of the zone. You know, this one's pretty easy. Little cutter slider, slider breaking ball right there. Again, a, a pitch that has a, a very um, high ceiling and something that you don't see that often out of that many guys, but what clearly defines him as a Division One player without question. Uh, that pitch just disappeared from the hitter after throwing a riding fastball. How well this player is repeating his delivery is really impressive. If you want to develop your skills and, and you want to be that frontline guy, you have to be able to repeat your delivery it has to be efficient, the movements, and then you have to have the stuff to go along with it. But if you're not quite there physically, really, really, really work at just hammering out the consistency of your delivery and know it inside out. So as you develop physically, you know, that's already in place. So some great footage there of obviously a very high level Division One pitcher. Some things that we're missing that I would like to see is we didn't see him throw out of the stretch. Okay, that's probably because nobody reached base in that game footage. But the reality is that there is going to be a time when runners will reach base. And we want to see how that converts from the windup into the stretch. And if the velocity still plays, you have the same control or command over those pitches. Um, because I've known many, many guys that can't do it. Uh, they can only throw out of one, and that becomes problematic over time. And that might change your profile from a starter to a reliever. Okay, can you throw out of the stretch? So one thing that was definitely missing. Um, but the things that we loved about that and separated him as a Division I frontline arm, the riding fastball, the disappearing slider, all those pitches being thrown in the zone consistently with repeatable, consistent mechanics. Those are things that are a must if you want to not only be on a Division I roster, um, but also be a frontline starter. So again, at NCSA, we review so many videos from so many players each and every week, thousands of them. And we would love to work with you and your family to come up with a game plan and see what your best fit is. So do you think you have what it takes to compete at the Division I level? Maybe you do. 
send us your video, put it on your profile. We love to walk, up, walk through it with you and figure out if you have what it takes to be the next college student athlete.